Oh my god. Okay, hopefully it works this time. I don't know what just happened there, guys, but there was like, it came up on my camera, it was like there, these little lines going up and up, and then it said something about slow car space or something. I don't know, that's weird. I hope my camera's not broken. But anyway, guys, hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. And today, I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys about something which has been on my mind a little bit lately. So now that I've got my studio all set up and like everything looks pretty cool, like I got the Annabelle over here, I got some cursed pictures of demons over here, like everything's going well. I'm waiting for a couple more things in the mail, which you guys know about. Um, and I was thinking about like, you know, obviously it's Halloween month. I'm gonna be doing scary stuff like spooky stories and stuff like that. And I was thinking about like how they just don't do so well anymore. Um, I even posted a, tw a tweet about this the other day, like, horror videos in general is just over like it's dead and i think the reason for that like there was that actual time when youtube used to be like uh when horror videos used to be great on youtube like there was actual communities um of people that would just solely base their channel on horror content and that seems to have died now because i feel like the reason for that is all these fake youtubers um i'm not gonna name names but Lance Stewart, Jay Station, and a whole bunch of others where they, like, make videos of, like, 3 a.m. challenges or Ouija board at 3 a.m. with, like, the Annabelle doll or um, what happens when you cut Chucky open at 3 a.m. Um, I don't know. You know, all of those freaking clickbait type of videos that you would see. Um, and originally, those type of videos were legit challenges that the horror community used to do. Like people like me i used to do stuff like that i used to do these challenges like bloody mary um do the bath game do the midnight man do all of these different like summoning slender man baby blue candy man there's so many of them um and originally it was like the horror channels there wasn't a lot of horror channels that i remember though i i mainly remember that Back in like 2014, 2015, I was watching like Brady 44. She was like my favorite YouTuber. I still love her to this day, but she was like my favorite YouTuber. I loved watching like her videos because she solely based her channel on horror content and she still does to this day. Um, and there was like Lupus Creepus. I loved his channel too. Like he would do like the Will It Kill Me series. And that's what kind of got me into the scary videos. I was like, not because I was thinking, wow, this gets a lot of views, because to be honest, they were actually pretty small back then. Um, but I was thinking of content that I enjoy, and I was kind of, before that, I was kind of going with all the trends and stuff. Um, and I was doing, like, funny videos, like, comedy videos. But inside me, I always knew, like, scary stuff. I loved scary stuff. I was very passionate about scary stuff and the paranormal. Um, and it just came to me, I was like, why don't I just like make videos about this kind of stuff? So I started to do that. Um, and that's pretty much how my channel grew. And ever since like all these other YouTubers have literally like every YouTuber has done a 3 a.m. video. Every single YouTuber has done a 3 a.m. video at some point. Um, and that's because they were super popular back in like 2018 like 20 between seven, 2017 and 2019 it was like everything was 3 a.m calling the numbers and not to brag or anything but i started the calling the numbers thing i actually did because i remember it very well i heard about booth world industries and i literally looked it up on youtube to see if it was legit or if anybody else had even called it and there was nobody i was like i think there was a couple of other videos but they were very very small I was like the first real YouTuber to actually call a scary number. And then in like 2018, fucking everybody was doing it. And now it just doesn't do well anymore. Because these people didn't just do these challenges, but they faked it. They made it look like, oh, calling Thanos at 3 a.m. He came to my house and it was fake as fuck. Um, and that's why it's like now everybody associates those type of videos with like clickbait fake shit, you know, because of all of these YouTubers. And uh, in reality, it was a genuine community of people trying to see, you know, like we weren't faking it either. Like I've never faked anything on my channel. Um, and neither, as far as I know, neither did Britty44 or Lupus Creepus or many of the other like scary um, horror channels. And I think the thing with, with the likes of us was we were doing it to kind of debunk it um, and film what actually happens if you perform this ritual or you call this number. Um, we would film it 
so we can show the people who are out there in the world who've heard about these legends and are scared to try it themselves, we can show them whether it actually works or not, whether something scary happens or not, whether it's just a waste of time. So a lot of our videos were, because they were genuine, they appear to be boring compared to the likes of Jay Station, who's full of drama, full of action. Everything happens in every single video. But in our videos, when we perform the rituals, nothing ever happens. But that's because we show the truth. And because of that, it's killed the horror genre in total. And it, it's sad. And I really hope that horror videos do make a comeback again in the future. Because, you know, things come and go on YouTube. Um, trends come and then they go again. So I hope that uh, the horror community will rebuild the damage done by all of the other youtubers the fake youtubers that were doing all this stuff um but anyway onto the actual topic of this video i wanted to tell you guys like probably not a lot of you will remember this but way back in the day like 2015 when i started the horror videos i would actually like tell the story in my own words and i think that's where i went wrong with youtube i think that's why the narrations don't do as well um, and I'll be honest about why I started the narrations, but for me, I think, you know, when I started to change my, my content and I didn't even really realize this until just recently, I was watching one of my older videos and I thought, wait, like, I thought I was going to be hearing the scary story with some, you know, like creepypasta background music, um, with a picture on the screen, but I actually sat there and talked about the story throughout the entire video and people loved it. It got thousands and thousands of views and mostly likes. And I think this could have an impact on, this could have been why my channel had such an impact, I meant to say. Um, I feel like back then, I would tell the story in my own words. It wasn't word for word, like I was reading it from the actual website, which is what I do now. Um, I was reading it earlier in the day, like really memorizing some points in it. Um, and I would tell the story in my own words. And I would kind of throw in my own little jokes. It was kind of a mixture between uh, my videos were kind of aimed towards like comedy and horror. It was supposed to be scary, yet a little bit of funny. You would have a few laughs in it because I would crack jokes. Um, I would react to certain parts of the story, but it wasn't like telling it. Um, it's, it's kind of hard to explain, but I'm pretty sure you guys know what I mean. Like back in the day, I used to tell the stories like, guys, and this story was about this guy. And right, this guy, he would like... Um, of course, I'm trying to think on the spot right now. It's kind of hard to do. Um, like, usually I cut this. It's not the same as it normally is. But, like, I'm like, <laughs> there was this guy. And you're not going to believe what he did with the bodies. He chopped them up and buried them in the wall. Holy shit! And I would, like, act like that. And I would add my own reactions while I'm telling the story. And I feel like people thought that was... I could dust a shit in my mouth. Um, I feel like people like that they they liked to sort of hear it in that way uh coming straight from me not actually reading it word for word and i think about that and i think i did start to do the the other like the narrations because it was easier i didn't have to come up with any jokes i didn't have to memorize the story because i could just pull it up on my phone and read it to you guys it was so much easier and i guess i did water it down and i got lazy um and i just i think people disconnected from me back in the day like people would say like they kind of relate to me they would react the same way to the story that I did and like they would think it was funny they would think parts are funny that I thought was funny um and they would like connect with me they they knew who I was my personality they knew me now you don't really see me in my videos it's me just introducing the video saying what we're going to be doing and then reading a story through the rest of the video and then saying goodbye to you at the end and that's it like i don't have that connection with you guys anymore um and i feel like that's where i went wrong with that's part of the problem anyway um that's one of the things i did wrong i watered it down i became lazy i tried to make things easier um by just reading it straight from the phone and I feel like that was a problem. I, I shouldn't have done that. And uh, I'm thinking about going back to the way I used to be, not actually copying the story word for word. I'm also kind of worried that that could be some kind of like plagiarism or something like that. Um, because I'm like finding these stories online and then I'm reading them to you. And so I do give credit to where I get the stories from in the, in the description, but like still, I just feel bad. Like these, it's not my story, you know, I'm just reading it and I'm the one profiting off of it. Um, and I'm hardly even profiting off of it anymore because I've become so 
disconnected with you guys, with the audience, um, that you don't even really know me. You're just hearing me say, hi guys, today we're gonna be doing this, and then I read the story and that's it. You don't know me anymore. Um, and I really wanna start bringing my personality back, my character back, and uh, connecting with my audience again, and finding people who are out there who watch me and think like, I love this guy, he's just like me. You know, in a non-narcissistic, like I'm looking for approval kind of way, but I want my audience to connect with me. Um, so I'm thinking about bringing back the scary stories which I've been doing anyway, except for the unboxing videos. Um, I'm thinking about doing the scary stories, but I'm thinking about doing them in my own way and not just stealing the story from the internet and then reading it to you guys in like a creepypasta manner with a picture. Like it's so fucking lazy. And I've been doing that for years. I'm surprised I got away with it as long as I did. And I think about it and I'm like, you know what? You guys are right. Like the, the horror videos, they're not as fun as they used to be. And I think that's because I'm not showing who I am anymore. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think though. Do you prefer the videos the way they used to be back in 2015, 2016, where I used to like tell them in my own way? Or do you prefer the actual like narrations with the creepy music? Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I really need your opinions on this. So yeah, let me know that. And um, I think I'll give it a try. And hopefully you guys will slowly start to find your way back to me. Um, you guys who are currently gone and I would really like that and hopefully after that maybe next year maybe the year after that maybe horror will finally start to you know rise from the ashes that was left by all the other fake youtubers but anyway guys that is pretty much it it's just something I've been thinking about and I really want your guys opinion on it do you think I should be more in involved in my videos instead of just, you know, reciting a story that I found and not even really being myself anymore. Um, let me know what you guys think. But that is all for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Drop a like on it if you think that's a good idea. Drop a dislike if you don't. And I will see you back here in the next video. Remember the most important thing, chase your dreams, keep on fighting. Don't let anybody bring you down. Don't let anybody stop you being who you wanna be. I will see you back here, guys, in the next video. Peace out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoy my videos and you would like to support me and my channel more and also be featured in my videos, go check out my Patreon. Link is in the description. I would really appreciate any help you guys have to offer. As you can see, we have different tiers, different rewards. So go over there, check it out. And uh, I would really appreciate that. Every little helps. Thank you so much. And also guys, don't forget to subscribe with the notification bell on and also follow me on all my social media. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Snapchat. So go follow Follow me on all of those and remember the most important thing, I love you guys and chase your dreams.